What is going on everybody? My name is James. Welcome back. Another episode in my Path to Power Deck Decider Edition. Last time, of course, we got to upgrade our RCM by a whopping two points. So he was 58 rated means we get to add a player that is 60 rated. So I went out and I picked up the Young Pepaloo. 400 coins, you're going to see that in a second. And that means we are ready to get into another match. Okay, so we are gonna do a little bit of maintenance to begin with. Johnny needs a contract. Correa needs a little bit of healing done to him. Uh, but we had a few players sell on Somalia, 150 coins. That was an oops, because I was gonna take the uh, use him to do the 1,000. We had a free pack when we logged in, so I decided to open it. Steaming pile of mediocrity. We're gonna keep the consumables, though. Uh, unlock the 1,000 coin bonus and discard everything else. The player we went out and bought is Pepaloo, because we were doing up two from our right center mid so we get bbva chemistry honestly is a pretty good bronze cm um and i was just happy to get the chemistry in there i mean it, it does help we really need to replace walsh the right back uh he is inevitably going to be a huge problem over there on two chemistry the 64 rated bronze with like 66 pace or something like that but we're coming in to crazy or coming up against crazy beast and xbox off his side uh, and this was kind of a, a bizarre, well, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, but he's got a pretty nice looking Paris Saint-Germain side, uh, but he's using Ruffier in goal, um, the only non-PSG player in there. So it should be, should be a tough game. He's got Ibra, which would be the guy that's the hardest to get in that side. But Dali Menga going to step free inside. Lovely finish at the near post. Maybe he should have had Trap in goal, judging by that bit of goalkeeping right there. But it was not the case. And we take a 1-0 lead in the 54th minute. Probably could have scored before this, but both my strikers kind of on low chemistry. Their finishing has been debatable at best at this point. And here we're getting another chance and play a pretty hopeful ball. And then boom, he is gone. So that means we're going to take the W, but I don't know. All right. So at this point, I'm just starting to think that there might be something wrong with the servers or whatever because we keep getting these like random disconnect wins when the guy is clearly just like passing it forward but we're getting the wins regardless so i don't really know what to do about it it's counting towards our record and all these good things so i'm gonna go ahead and just shuffle up the cards and uh draw again we're gonna be starting with the left back is gonna be the first one so we'll go ahead and cut it for you guys here we're getting a low uh, so we are doing, let's see, seven. So left back, left center back, right center back, right back, um, goalkeeper, left striker, right striker. That's a big one. Okay, so I'm super pumped about that. Although uh, Dali Menga has been wonderful for us, we'll get a huge chemistry boost uh, getting in a BBVA striker. So we're going to change him with a player that is... Oh, and it's huge. It's even bigger. So Manga, I think, was he 66 rated? So King is worth 13. So a 79 rated striker from the BBVA. That is massive. So I'm going to go out, pick a guy up, and get back to you guys. Okay, so we are going out and getting Bouveau, or Bavu. I think it's Bouveau, though, um, and to pick him up to get not only Ben Yedder some chemistry, but he also gives us BBVA chemistry as well, which is just fantastic. We couldn't ask for a better kind of pick in there. He's pacey. He's got four-star skills. I used him at the start of Ultimate Team. I didn't like him at all. I'm hoping that I'm going to like him this time around because I passed up a player like Rodrigo or... Uh, what was it, Bakumba to get him into the squad. This guy, 4-3-3 uh, three, three Serie A squad, looks to be really nice. I don't know about Iguain. Well, I did know about Iguain in that CM spot coming into this game, but I, I just, I can't believe he caused me problems. Nice bit of work here, but unfortunately, the tackling from a right back Walsh, what, was that Walsh? I don't know. Very, it looked like it could have been the right back coming in there to make the tackle. Just terrible. Um, and Iguain just runs right on through him, through him, finishes clinically, and yeah, you can see it just... When stuff like that happens, you're just it's just so demoralizing. But I felt like I was in control and I get back in. You can see this is kind of the attack. He's looking to play through balls and I was watching it. So try to rush it forward because now it's 65th minute almost and I'm it's getting a little tidy and another not so great bit of tackling. It was a nice step from DeBall right there and down 2-0. 65th minute went from bad to worse. 
and it's just because I was trying to rush it forward and not playing very smart. Managed to take this one away. Uh, Johnny taking it away from Quadrado. Inside pass to Bouveau. Finds Ben Yetter, and that is a clinical finish that we're looking for. Back across the keeper, the pro club style finish. An ultimate team, you generally are finishing, or, you know, a lot of finishes are that finesse shot to the near post. When you're playing against human keepers, apparently, the, well, not apparently, the human keepers, the uh, crossbody is the hardest one. Look at Pep Blue right here. The back heel keeping the play alive, and we're working working things for Rakitic, Kovacic, Kovacic, watch the movement. Bouveau out wide of Korea and it's Kovacic in through and I'd been cutting inside a lot this game and I was like whatever I'm gonna just run by him this time and see if we can't slot it in at the near post finish that we were talking about before we're back in this one baby 2-2 two two in the 81st minute giving ourselves a lifeline to try to keep our record of, uh, com well, just all wins intact. Now here I'm trying to rush forward for the winner and it's a bad pass from the right back again. And it's not another, it's another bad tackle from the center backs. Mertens free on goal. I swear every time he shot it, it went in. It was one of those games. We'll look at the stats after. Actually he had one that my keeper saved. Um, but 90th minute now, when I thought all hope was lost, he gave me a lifeline, doing a little too much dribbling right there. Kovacic, lovely ball into Ben Yetter. Uh, a little bit to do right here, but he takes on Barzagli, gives me that near post. Top net, baby, the best net. Snatching away a point from the, you know, at the very last gasp effort. Um, so that felt good, but it also felt terrible because it felt like I should have had three points. I'll run through exactly how I felt about the match uh, in a second. Once we get on camera, we'll check out the stats. Ben Yetter feel, felt a lot better with a little bit of chemistry, so that's positive. Um, but with the draw, well, I'll explain it all here. You can see, well, four shots on target. Three of them went in, meaning the keeper to make at least a few more saves. Um, but we were peppering the goal, just not very good at finishing right now. Anyways, let it, us get into the draw and see what happens. Oh man, that was a crazy game. We snatched a point from a game that I should have gotten three for. It's, at least I felt like I should have gotten three for. Um, Bouvard, the new signing, missed two clean breakaways. He used his pace well. I just, I don't know if I should have gone finesse near post like I did with Kovacic or shot it across the keeper. I don't know what the right uh, option would have been right there, but I didn't take it. Um, so that kind of put us in a bad spot and then we, you know, it's kind of like quicksand when I got behind. I was like struggling and clawing to get back into the game and I, every time I was one goal down, I just dig the hole a little bit deeper and give up a terrible counter on a buildup and my center back's tackling was brutal. Ugh. The frustrations of FIFA. I know you guys are with me on that. We're gonna shuffle it up because it's a draw. We're gonna just draw one card, replace the player, um, with a player of equal value because we didn't win, we didn't lose. Remember, if we do lose, then the player's gotta get downgraded by that much. So uh, that's what makes it kind of challenging, even though we've been in pretty good form lately. So the player we're replacing is three, and three is going to be attacking mid, LCM, CM. I believe that is Rakitic, and I'm upset because Rakitic is the highest rated player that we have, and he was good for us in the midfield. Uh, and now we are in a little bit of trouble. So 85 rated player though, we got, we have options. Um, I have lots of different things that I can do. So we'll see who I go out and pick up. But other than that, I want to say thank you guys very much for tuning in, sticking with me, sticking with this series. Um, I'll be out of town again, actually coming up, well this weekend. So depending on when you're watching this, uh, I might be out of town. Going with some buddies for my last little bachelor party sort of weekend. Um, I didn't want to do like the, some of your classic stuff, I just wanted to spend the weekend at a sweet place in Florida, so that's what we are doing, going to hang out at the beach for a little while. One of the days we're doing some, uh, we've like got a deep sea fishing charter, which I've always wanted to do for like my entire life, and finally now we're gonna do it. Um, and I'm super pumped about it, so I might try to, I think I'm gonna toss the GoPro in there if there's just like some, some cool stuff. But make sure to follow me on social media if you wanna see kind of what's going on with that. Um, but, and all those links are in the description below, but otherwise, as always, thank you all for watching. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.